I lost the majority of my weight eating a one meal a day fasting schedule. This is my weight loss transformation. And I just want to talk about why you may not be losing weight with OMAD. I'm just going to word vomit a bunch of reasons quickly off the top of my head, and then I will organize it beautifully throughout the video. So make sure you watch until the end of the video so you can see what reason might be the reason why you're not losing weight with one meal a day. Okay, number one, people are not giving the diet long enough. Come on, give the diet long enough. Give it at least a month. You got to your place over a series of years. You cannot expect to see results quickly in about one to two weeks. Patience is a virtue. Another reason why people might not be losing weight eating one meal a day is that they're drinking too much coffee. Coffee is a stimulant. It is going to activate our height, flight or flight resource system. It activates adre adrenaline. So when that happens, it spikes our cortisol levels. And when we get our cortisol levels up, that can cause glucose spikes, putting you on a glucose roller coaster. I always say with one meal a day, it's best to have coffee first thing in the morning. You should not be having more than one cup of coffee. And when I say one cup, you're one, it might not be an exact like US metric cup, but like your one dose of coffee should happen first thing in the morning. Another reason why people may not be losing weight on OMAD is that they're only looking at the scale and they're not looking at other methods of measuring progress. And with OMAD, there are many times that you're gonna hold weight, but if you look in the mirror and you see and you're actually taking progress pictures, you will notice that your waist is shrinking. So please take progress pictures weekly, for the love of God, take progress pictures re weekly can't speak right now. Make sure you are measuring your waist circumference, taking measurements around your waist weekly because that waist measurement will tell you definite fat loss in your overall body. And also look at non-scale victories. Look at how your clothes is fitting. Look at how disciplined you are with your nutrition, how much you've changed over the past week, two or couple of months. You gotta look at the non-scale victories. The scale is one point of data, but the scale isn't complete with the other points of data. Now, with that word vomit gone, now I'm gonna go into full on details onto why you are not losing weight with not one meal a day. Number one, I did mention this, you're drinking too much coffee. Drink coffee first thing in the morning. You should not be having more than one dose of coffee. For some people, coffee might spike your blood sugar levels. I remember hearing this from Dr. Mindy Pels. It might be advisable to get one of these babies. Get a continuous glucose monitor so you can be aware of your blood sugar spikes. It is the blood sugar spikes that make weight loss infinitely difficult. The goal is to flatten your glucose curve. You want to flatten that curve because when you flatten your glucose curve, you're able to lose weight easily. Now, OMAD is a tool to do that, but if you're doing OMAD in a way that you're having your one meal a day and you're eating foods in a way that will spike your blood sugar, it's gonna make it highly difficult for you to lose weight with OMAD. You need to make sure you are flattening that curve. So to make sure you flatten that glucose curve, honestly, if you guys wanna know how I did OMAD, I did it with Keto OMAD because Keto OMAD guaranteed that I flattened my glucose curve and it guaranteed weight loss because it kept me in a state of fat burning 24 seven. When you do OMAD in a way where you introduce carbs, you can still lose weight with it, but honestly the weight loss is faster with Keto OMAD just on my experience. With my eight months of OMAD, the months that I lost 12 pounds, which was the most I can lose with OMAD in a month, every month I did that, it was with Keto OMAD. So you wanna flatten your glucose curve. If you don't wanna do Keto OMAD, that's fine. But I highly recommend if you're losing weight with OMAD and things stop, perhaps it's time to lower your carbs. You're gonna to have to adjust your macronutrients because you gotta keep your body in a deeper state of fat burning. So if you're gonna do it with carbs, you gotta follow the food order hack this was an idea that was researched by Jessie, also known as the glucose goddess from the glucose revolution. She talked about this. So if you're going to break your fast with OMAD, please break it with a mix of vegetables, protein, and fat. You want to break your fast in that way. And when I say the food order hack, it's how you're eating your meal. I'm not telling you to eat your meal and then go eat additional starches or additional carbs. No, it's just how you eat your meal. So let's say you have a plate of food of 
You got some salad there. You got some steak. Maybe you got some wings. You got some cheese and you got some fries and you got some rice. How you're going to break that meal? You're going to start with the steak and the vegetables. Start with the steak and the vegetables. Eat that steak. Eat the vegetables. You want to eat your fats and proteins. And then you can start once the steak's down and you still have a lot of vegetables left, then start having the fries, but have the fries with the vegetables. You want to pair your starches with the vegetables because that's going to help reduce that blood sugar spike and it's going to help flatten that glucose curve. We want to flatten that curve because that is where you're going to get your body into a state of deep fat burning. A lot of us are metabolically ill. A lot of us have been damaged for years. So it's really important that we push our body to the edge of convincing it to go for those deep storage fat stores. If you're gonna have dessert with one meal a day, please make sure you have it after your meal. Again, that's gonna help flatten the curve. But if you really want to get this thing rolling, you don't wanna be having anything too sugary. You wanna keep the curve flat, that is the key. You can also help flatten your glucose curve by having apple cider vinegar before your meal or any vinegar that doesn't have sugar. Post meal, you wanna go for a 10 minute walk just to get things moving. And again, that's gonna help reduce blood sugar levels because again, you're going walking, you're expanding energy, you're using the glucose that's in your blood for energy as opposed to letting it be stored as excess fat, which is what we don't wanna do. You need to make sure you're doing a clean OMAD fast, a clean OMAD fast. Okay, for me, if you're having problems with losing weight with OMAD, I say get rid of coffee, just get rid of it. Do a clean OMAD fast without coffee. You won't know if coffee spikes your blood sugar unless you have one of these, and it can do that for people. But if you're not willing to give up coffee, it should be fine. Most people can lose weight with OMAD by having black coffee first thing in the morning. So a clean OMAD fast. You can't have any artificial sweeteners. You should be having unflavored electrolytes, unflavored minerals. You should be having sparkling water. You should be having things like apple cider vinegar with no sugar, lemon water. You can have pickle juice, but please be aware. Make sure you read the label of the pickles that you're drinking the juice from and that there's no sugar in it. Garlic pickles are a safe bet because they don't add sugar to it. There's jerking pickles. They might add sugar to that. Like drinking pickle juice is an option and um, having hot teas, hot black teas or green teas. You want to do a clean OMAD fast because when we do a clean OMAD fast, it allows our body to go in and effectively get those deep sugar stores. It also allows our body to effectively go into autophagy, which is what we want. We want our body to reverse all of the metabolic damage. It is important for that. And of course, to get into ketosis, to keep you in a state of fat burning longer. Another reason why you might not be losing weight with OMAD, I highly recommend just go keto OMAD. Keto OMAD is not as painful as it sounds. It's actually easier to lose weight on keto OMAD, which is why I did it and why I loved it and you get results with it. Why is it easier to lose weight on keto OMAD? Because ketones literally crush hunger hormones. It goes up into the hypothalamus of our brain and it turns off hunger hormones. Another reason why keto OMAD is effective is that it keeps you in that state of fat burning longer throughout the day. It's not interrupted. So even as you're eating that meal, it is like you are still in a fasted state because you're burning that fat. It keeps your blood sugar low. So that is a powerful tool. Keto OMAD, I highly recommend doing it. So just dropping your carbs. I would say if you really want to get results and you're really serious about it, eat between your net carbs, 20 to 30 grams. So net carbs is all of your carbs minus fiber. You don't include fiber. You can have as much fiber as you like. Another way how I lost weight with OMAD, honestly, again, a lot of metabolic damage for me. I have non-alcoholic fatty level liver disease. I had thyroid issues and all of that. I got into OMAD with an extended fast. I jumped into OMAD after doing a 48 hour fast. Why do I recommend doing that? Because some of us, again, are super metabolically ill. So it is good to give our body a head start by going into that fast longer. Because when you're in a fast, your body has no choice to start correcting itself through autophagy, 
through bringing the blood sugar levels down, through all of the benefits that you get with fasting, you're getting gut health reset, you're getting stem cells in your gut. Our gut plays a major role when it comes to weight loss with our gut microbiome and all of that. It is so important. Um, you also get, you know, mental benefits like GABA being pro produced around 36 hours, a neurotransmitter that makes you feel good and happy. Because again, if your mood is good and your mental health isn't like the greatest, it can make weight loss being difficult. Listen, I've lost weight in the, I always lose weight in the most dire parts of my life. <laughs> like, you know, through the car accident, through dealing with chronic pain and all of that. Like you can do it, you can't. And fasting just helps boost your mood in that way. Um, and again, um, so many benefits of jumping into an extended fast. Some people just need to do that because they're metabolically damaged. Next, move your body. If you're losing weight, if you're not losing weight on OMAD, please exercise. Walking is enough for most people. Usually walking is enough for all people, I would say. There might be the odd person that might need to give a little more, but not with OMAD. Go out and walk. Start adding in 30 minute daily walks. Start doing that. Get exercise going. You just don't want to lose weight with diet. You want to front run your metabolism. And the way to do that is to include exercise. You want to boost your BMR so you're burning more calories because we don't want to restrict and restrict and restrict. Speaking of calories, make sure you're eating enough calories. You should be eating minimum women 1200 calories. On OMAD, men 1,800 calories on OMAD. There might be the odd day on Keto OMAD that you have five, six, hundred calories, but you don't wanna be doing that consecutively daily. You need to eat enough calories for your thyroid health. The thyroid needs those calories. If you're gonna mess up your thyroid health, you're gonna mess up all of your hormones and everything. So please be um, cognizant of that. Eat enough calories. You should not be eating consistently 500 calories for months on end. That's just going to put your body in a dire state. You don't want to do that. Your body will literally just adapt to that. You want to increase your calories to the 1200 range and then adjust accordingly. You should not be eating less than that for most of the days that you're doing one meal a day. Another reason why you might not be losing weight while eating one meal a day is that you're weighing yourself at all sorts of times. You should be weighing yourself right before you break your fast. And you should also be weighing yourself by withholding water for one to two hours. One hour should be enough. Some people it might be two. You gotta play with that. Because obviously if you go drink water and weigh yourself, you're gonna screw up the scale. So you need to make sure you are weighing yourself right before you break your fast. If you're weighing yourself at all times a day, you're gonna get different data points. You need to be consistent with weighing yourself. Again, I mentioned this earlier, track progress in multiple ways. Take photos, inches, um, not just the scale. You gotta do more. Photos will be like everything on OMAD because with OMAD, you'll see the weight loss and on your waist. And I'll re reiterate this point again, please give your body enough time. Give your body at least one month to adapt to OMAD. Don't come to me saying that you are not losing weight after two or three weeks, one month. Most people should be losing weight immediately, but everyone's different. And if you follow all these steps and you're still not losing weight with one meal a day, there could be an underlying medical condition. And another thing, medications will mess with your ability to lose weight. That's another thing. So you gotta be aware of all of that. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I just was trying to be like a straight talker with this video. If you enjoyed this video, just drop in the word or the words, never give up because we don't give up around here. We find a way to get things done. And I am sending you mad love. Take care. Bye.